The first thing that we need to do in the program is to identify our load and our rifle configuration. So for now, let's use the standard bullet BC of 617. That is a uh, Berger 168 BLD with a muzzle velocity of 3,000 feet per second. Let's bump that up to 3,025. Now the inputs are very simple. Just select and drag, and then we can rewrite by selecting the numbers that we want. Or you can select the entire cell and just input your numbers like that. So 3,025 feet per second. Now the bullet weight's 168 grain. On our scopes, we're running about 1.8 from the center of the bore to the center of the scope. That's our scope height. The impact range is your zero range. We're going to shoot at 200 yards, and we want the impact height to be zero. So we're going to be zeroed right on at 200 yards. Now the scope click value is quarter MOA. Uh, we do have third MOA, eighth MOA as options, and then if you've got a European scope, you might be tenth mil or mil for your clicks. Now, if you've got a scope that doesn't quite track perfectly with your click value, you can always pick custom and put your exact MOA per click. And that's, a, that's another feature that's pretty handy if your scope's not quite perfect. Now, this concludes the, uh, the broad uh, inputs that you're going to have to put in to calculate. There's a, a couple advanced features here that we need to discuss while we're on this tab. The first one is the G7 ballistic coefficient. Now we might be able to uh, read the G7 ballistic coefficient off of your manufacturer's uh, bullet box, but there's only a few manufacturers that are publishing their ballistic coefficient on the G7 drag model. Uh, this device will calculate your equivalent G7 ballistic coefficient for a thousand yard drop equivalency. So this, it's going to be pretty accurate. But I would always recommend following up a conversion to the G7 ballistic coefficient with a trajectory validation to ensure that your, your drops are exactly what you're measuring in the field. Uh, but this, this calculator is handy and if you do have your G7 ballistic coefficient you can enter in those numbers so it's precisely what's off your bullet box. Uh, also available for an option here uh, on this program is the bullet lookup function. And uh, that just loads up a database that has the different uh, bullet manufacturers. Let's select the burger and let's look at a 7 millimeter and let's do the 180 grain uh, VLD in this situation. Now that tells me that the BC is uh, 0.659. Okay, so I've got a .659 ballistic coefficient, and our muzzle velocity is going to be just a little slower with this cartridge. Let's say it's 29.75. Okay, so we just looked up the ballistic coefficient and muzzle velocity. Uh, at least we looked up the ballistic coefficient, and we've entered the muzzle velocity. If you do a load lookup, that will actually populate your ballistic coefficient and your muzzle velocity. So we have a database here of some different ammunition manufacturers. Uh, we can do like the Remington AccuTip and we can pick one of the different cartridges uh, and, the, and the bullet and it will give you a ballistic coefficient and a muzzle velocity. Now I'm going to cancel because I don't want to populate those fields. If you're happy with those numbers you can hit OK. So that's the bullet lookup and load lookup, and we've also covered the G7 ballistic coefficient. So the last thing that we can do before we leave our load tab is we can save our current load. Now it asks me to save the load as. Now the keyboard input on this device is always in the bottom of the uh, menu screen. So I'm going to click on the keyboard, and we're going to save this as our, um, let's do 7 millimeter, and we'll just do M. Um, and it's actually the Remington Magnum, so let's go ahead, I'm just going to pick that one right there to populate it, and we'll save that load. Now to get rid of your keyboard, you just hit the keyboard button again. So now if I look in my load drop down list, I've got a 7mm Remington Mad there. If I want to remove it, I can hit remove it and it will delete that load, or if I want to make a new one, I can go back to new and we can start from scratch. But I want to go back to the 7 Remington Mag load. Uh, we're done with the load tab, and that section's complete. We're going to move on to the environment tab.